Okay, tag video time. Show us your gaming telly. A lot of you will know that when I do my gameplay videos, I'm not using any kind of funky capture device plugged into me consoles or whatever. I'm just pointing this camera at that telly. It's a Sanyo HD LCD TV thingy. And it's not even a particularly modern one. It goes up to 1080i. It won't do 1080p, you know, so... On that level, it's a bit meh, but what it's good at is displaying almost everything. Um, there are maybe, of all the systems I've got, there are maybe three or four that it won't display, and when I'm using one of them, I display them on that thing over there, which is ancient and not very good. It hasn't even got a SCART socket on it. But anyway, I'm going to turn this thing around and show you what's on the back because while the actual display resolution may not be impressive what's on the back of this I find quite cool so uh, let me just turn it around okay I wouldn't normally well I've been meaning to do this for ages but then I went and dropped the sensor for the um, the Wii down the back of the box that this thing sits on so I decided well since I've got to move things I might as well show you what's on the back of this and the answer to that is quite a lot. Um, starting on the left, just here we've got your standard RF aerial input thingy, which uh, I largely just leave plugged in because I've got a, a, a lead here with like a female connection at the end, so I don't have to keep plugging and unplugging this when I want to switch consoles. Oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> Always a phone call while I'm making a video. So anyway, yes, next to the um, uh, RF input, we've got the, uh, is it composite? Call it what you like. Um, video and two audio jobbies. Uh, I've got my Amiga plugged into that. And then next to those, I've got a, a... You know what? I don't even know what they are. <laughs> I don't use them. But, um, yeah. And then we have got here... SCART inputs. To, can you see? Two SCART inputs. It's kind of difficult to tell with the uh, lighting. One there, one there. Oh, that's about a bit of reflection on there. Um, SCART seems to be very much a European thing. It basically takes the signals you get from these and puts them through this. Or RGB as well can be put through these to give a really good image. Uh, and I've got two inputs for that. And then... Oh, there. VGA input. I've got a, a laptop plugged in there. And then here we have two HDMI inputs. Uh, that's for the PS3, that's for the Raspberry Pi. So, uh, all in all, it's a very well-connected telly. Um, of course, also, just to make life easier for myself, where um, with, the, with the RF input I've got a lead that just leads to a <laughs> female input. Lead leads to whatever. Yeah, this SCART one, I take that and at the end I've got this here. So uh, I don't have to keep reaching around the back to plug stuff in. I just have this down at the side of the telly and I plug numerous different things into there like PS2, Xbox, um, other stuff. Yeah, just makes life easier. There you go, so uh, that's my gaming telly. Tag video, video responses, show us your telly, what do you use, if you're, if you're using a telly for making videos, or, or just your gaming telly, show us what you, <laughs> show us what you got, god that sounds bad doesn't it, there you go, that's mine, it's a Sanyo CE32LD, or oh, whatever, it's one of them, it's pretty good in a kind of old, slightly outdated kind of way. Thank you for watching.